In this video, we are talking about the whisks that we use the most in our cake decorating studio. So typically we use a variety of what are called balloon whisks. So they have a nice rounded shape at the end, whether that's an actual sphere or if it just tapers out gently into this nice round balloon shape at the end, that's in general what we're using. We're whisking a lot of batters, fillings and things like that. If you're doing a lot of work in say a sauce pot and you're doing work over the stove, you might wanna go with a French whisk that has a more tapered shape. It's not as fat at the end. It can be easier to use in saucepans. In general, we're looking for something that has a nice heavier gauge wire and a nice round opening at the end. That's gonna help give us the volume and lift we want and it'll stand up to the jobs. So we do a lot of stuff that's heavier duty and when we do, you're looking for a heavier gauge wire, right? We want it to really stand up and whisk that batter and you don't wanna risk um, breaking your whisk essentially. And some other things to consider are the size. So this one's a bit bigger and so are these and these are a bit smaller. So I pick the whisk based on how much lift I want right? How much air you want to put in it and also the size of the job I'm doing. So I keep a variety of smaller ones on hand for when we're doing smaller tasks, especially if we're doing some recipe testing because you don't always want to make large batches. And if you're only trying to whisk up a little bit of heavy cream or a single egg, you don't really need something that big. It's not going to get the job done. So keep in mind the size of the tasks you're doing when you're purchasing and try to get a variety of sizes that will cover you nicely and give you the appropriate tool for the job. The other thing to consider um, is the handles on them. So some of them are gonna be heavier, um, bigger, potentially easier to hold. Some of them you might find have rubber grips that are more ergonomic, and some are really just basic. So depending on how much you're doing this, um, if you're whisking, say, a lot of egg whites or heavy cream by hand, a better handle will make your job easier and make your life easier and make your arm hurt just a little less. Um, so it's something to consider, but if it's not something you do often, you most likely don't need to invest too much in them. So just a few things to consider when you're picking out whisks is, you know, what you're going to be doing, how often you're going to be doing it and the duration you're going to be using it. And that way you can pick the appropriate tools and make sure you're not spending too much and if budget is a concern, those are all things to consider.